Hello YouTubers, this is Neil with uh, River Rock Outdoors again. We're here at Fushi Peninsula, out here in the springtime, early spring. Uh, we're gonna explore this peninsula a little bit. It's just a little out jutting of, uh, of uh, land. It's a natural area, TVA had, had uh, set aside for public use. So we're gonna come take a look at it, maybe set up a hammock or two. Box turtle? Yeah, it's a box turtle. Oh, sorry, buddy. That means scary. He's in his little house. Ultimate all terrain camping vehicle right there. We're not that hungry, so we're not going to eat it just yet. <laughs> so, but. Just yet. <laughs> I've never eaten a box turtle. I ate a snapping turtle once. They're nasty. This is a, this is a shag bark hickory tree. So it produces nuts about once. I think every other year, but a uh, beautiful tree. You can take the bark off and use it for tinder and, and fire starting, but it's a great hardwood too, so it burns real long and slow. And the nuts off of it you can use too for various things too. Stop, stop. right into this bay. I think that would be a good place to go. Let's try it out. Using line of sight, I can keep a straight line as long as I mark these trees on the direction I'm going. On my way back, I can see where I've been and make my way back to the trail. But, and this isn't gonna harm the tree. The tree, will, the tree will heal as long as you don't cut deep into the tree. But you wanna make them bright and visible so that when you look, you can see them. Like, don't space them out too far that you lose your own trail. So that's important. Low River Rock Outdoors, this is Neil. I'm just out enjoying the day, uh, sipping me a cold beverage. I'm actually drinking a cold beer. No, I'm just kidding. It's a monster drink. I don't drink alcohol. But anyway, we're just out here enjoying the lake, enjoying the weather. And the purpose of these videos, as I said, uh, uh, was to just kind of make people know that they can go out and do do things out in the wild and out in the wilderness. We, we just took a couple of hammocks out and a little bit of food and fixing to do some fishing. Uh, I just want to emphasize to you that I'm not like a professional survival expert or a prepper or even a professional hiker or a professional bushcrafter. Uh, you may see me do some things, some things that I know how to do, uh, but you know, my main objective is, is just to get out and enjoy the day um, and do it in a way, you know, that is, uh, that other people can relate to. You gotta have a day, you got to have some time uh, to where you can just go out and uh, uh, reboot, if you will. Uh, I think that's important for people. Not all of us are going to be able to go out and, you know, live in the woods, which I don't know, I'll go ahead and be honest with you, that is sort of a dream of mine. <laughs> but uh, other than that, I mean, just to be able to enjoy the, di the time that you have when you're off, uh, to be able to reboot, to kind of recenter yourself in this world of stress and of careers and of uh, jobs and meeting deadlines and all those things, uh, it's always good to kind of draw back from that when you have an opportunity to do so. Uh, those opportunities are few and far between for me, so I try to take advantage of them as much as I can. My son and I are out now. He's doing the filming. I'm doing the talking, but I'm enjoying the time that we're having. Don't think you have to be a professional anything to do it. Uh, be encouraged that you can go out and do these things. Uh, so that's just kind of the purpose of these videos, and I hope you enjoy them. I hope you subscribe. Uh, get out there and enjoy life, enjoy your family, and God bless.
We made it out alive, so we're getting ready to leave and uh, hope you had a good time watching us. We're going to come back and revisit this place several times, hope we make a shelter or two, do a couple overnighters. Uh, so look forward to those videos, and in the meantime, stay out there, stay good, and have fun. <laughs>